a lot of the communication that's going on with Twitter is a simple dissemination of information. So a firm has some news they want to get out to the markets. They use a tweet to tweet the information, a link to it. And then the question is, does this have an effect? Does this improve the information environment of the firm? We look at these firms and we examine when they tweet versus when they don't tweet. And we find that when they choose to tweet an event, that the market liquidity is actually improved. We see bid ask spreads narrow and we see the depths widen. And more importantly, we see this effect as being stronger for those firms that you would call less visible. Those that might have trouble getting attention from the traditional media outlets. So it would be firms that are smaller, firms that have fewer shareholders, firms that have fewer institutions looking at them. These firms are the ones that have more trouble getting their message out and Twitter is a channel that they can use to more broadly disseminate their information. My first advice would be to definitely take it seriously. A lot of these new technologies it's easy to dismiss because it's not the way that you've done things in the past and it's not the, the traditional normal way of communicating with investors. But as we show in our study, Twitter can be extremely helpful for firms that are using it, uh, especially if they can't get attention from the traditional media outlets. This is a new channel, this is a new way of communicating, and it does impact the firm's information environment. It helps their market liquidity. So uh, my advice would be to look at Twitter or look at Facebook or look at these different technologies and see what's right for your firm. Think about what your goals are and what you want to accomplish and, and work, think about how these tools might help you better communicate with your investors. The way that firms are communicating with investors, it's changing. Whether firms want it to or not, the advent of new technology coming in and different venues for them to interact with, it's changing investors' expectations and it's changing the possibilities for firms. So the exciting thing is that firms, they can choose to embrace this and they can start to see some real benefits coming from it.